In this edition, I talk about some of my favorite photographs over the last several years. Hi there. Today I'd like to talk about some of my favorite pictures that I've taken over the last four or five years. Um, many of these were taken while I was traveling and I was traveling with family. So these weren't necessarily photographic trips, but as a photographer who always carries his camera whenever I travel, opportunity is everything. So this first one I call Clouds and Fog, and that's just exactly what it is, an opportunity that just happened. It was at the end of the trip, we were coming back down the inside passage, and we went through a fog bank, and magic just started happening. When we, just as we were clearing the fog bank, that's when I saw clouds and fog, and it was just an incredible, ethereal, almost religious experience, if you will, but it was just really, really cool, and I am so glad that I got to see it, and of course, now I get to share it with you. The next one is also from that same trip, different day, and I was out on the balcony. This was on a cruise ship, by the way. And it was towards night, and then these incredible colors just started popping up in the sky. And they were framed by the mountains, which had gone really dark. The sky was a deep, deep shade of blue. They were just way off in the distance. There were lights from either a little village or somebody's house. I don't know what it is, but it's just off there. And it's just, again, it's just an opportunity that I couldn't pass up. On a different trip, uh, we had gone to Seattle to visit friends whose son was graduating from high school. And of course, you know, we're in Seattle, so we got to run around and see what's what. And at one point, we were at this location across from the city and it was just the right time of night the right amount of clouds the right amount of reflection and it just all came together and that gave me seattle skyline venice is one of those places that if you get the opportunity to visit you really should um, in fact travel is just a wonderful thing if you can do it great if not then i hope that some of the pictures that i take will give you some insight into these places. Um, the problem with Venice and any really popular location is that most of the big sites, somebody's already taken that picture. You know, if you search for gondolas in Venice, you're going to come up with thousands of pictures. And a lot of them are really, really good. So I was looking for something just a little bit different and we had come around this one corner and I saw this bridge off in the distance and there were some boats and I took it originally in landscape format but the entire right side was just not working so when I cropped it to portrait portrait mode that's when I got Red Boat in Venice. I think France is probably high on everyone's list of places to visit or you know most people who want to travel at least I think would enjoy going to Paris. Um, Versailles is a wonderful place to visit. Um, the palace is just incredible. The grounds are even more incredible. But it was actually at the end of the day when you know we were all kind of tired and we were leaving. And I just happened to turn around and there were the gates and they were just lit up perfectly. The sky again was a deep, deep shade of blue. The floodlights on the gates, just it was just an incredible sight. And of course, I had my camera, so I got Versailles gates. This picture is one that's very unusual because it actually, I took it with my iPhone. And the original picture was a lot, not nearly as clean as this one. And this is one that I edited quite a bit. Um, I cropped out all of the plants and I put it on a gradient background, which is somewhat similar to the original picture because I took it at night and it was just uh, this plant that was growing up in front of a 
building and it was just it was actually lit and it was looked like a gradient from gray to black but there were other leaves and things and plants and whatnot and I edited all those out and then I came up with green on black. Eiffel Skyward is just one of those pictures that this particular one I took on my third trip to Paris that I just finished like a month ago. Um, I had taken a very similar picture a couple of years ago, but then I had a D7100 and now I'm using a D850. So I was hoping to recreate some of the pictures that I had taken previously, just, you know, just for comparison. And as it turns out, I really liked this new version much better. Uh, I was right at the base of the tower, uh, looking up, clicking away, and I got Eiffel Skyward. Fontainebleau, home of French kings, both Napoleons, beautiful old chateau, incredible grounds, which I think the star really is the grounds. Um, within the chateau, though, as in many of these older castles, palaces, there were private chapels, and in this one is Trinity Chapel, which there were two levels to the, the chateau. And when I was up on the upper level, for some reason, I just wasn't that impressed. And it wasn't until I got to the lower level, and then it was just like, wow, it just hit me. And although this picture has been heavily edited for perspective, I've not changed any of the colors or anything like that. This is what I saw. In January of this year, I had the opportunity to go to Lakota Wolf Preserve in northern New Jersey. Um, great place. These are wild wolves, but wild wolves who are used to people being around them. There are actual enclosures with high chain link fences to keep the wolves in and keep people out. But um, I don't think they eat you. At least I don't. Uh, yeah. I mean, they're used to being around people, but they're not tame. You, you can't go in and pet them. It's just... You might be minus a few fingers if you tried. And then again, maybe not, because like I said, they are used to being around people. But the handlers will throw little treats out to entice the wolves to come up close, and then there are holes in the chain link fence that allow you to photograph through it. So, great experience. Uh, literally, several times I was no more than two or three feet from an actual wolf, and that was kind of cool. And I really did want to pet them, but I contained myself and didn't. All of this, of course, led to Badass Wolf. Now, this is the Alpha, so he is really kind of a badass. This next picture is called Wolf Song, and that's exactly what it is. Um, one of the things that we did was if you want to get the wolves to howl is you howl and then, then eventually they'll join in. Um, again, great experience. My only regret about this picture is that in the lower left, you might notice some of the chain link or a pattern that looks like chain link because they were right at the edge of the enclosure. Uh, I did everything I could to, to hide it or blur it out, but still, I'm very, very pleased with this picture. Rowboats is one of those pictures that was taken with a mind towards editing. Um, from the start, I knew that the final image was not going to be what I saw on the camera. Uh, the original picture, there were actually seven boats in that little lake. The boathouse was actually off more to the left, and there was also another building to the left. The boats I removed, I had to rebuild that as water. Moving the lake house a little bit to the right was just pretty much a pretty easy crop and paste. Uh, the building on the left, I had to cover that up with additional foliage. But the end result was pretty much exactly what I envisioned or actually, I think it came out better than what I envisioned. I'm just very, very pleased with this image. It's uh, 
to date, this is probably my favorite picture that I've ever taken. Uh, of course, I'm getting ready to go to Australia in a couple of days, so that could change. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then please click that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, then hey, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.